Photoshop Element 7 contains a brand new tool that will make your editing or enhancing tasks a whole lot easier. Called the Smart Brush, you can see it here sitting in the toolbar, and this, it has two different variations. One is the standard Smart Brush, and the other one is the Detail Smart Brush for smaller and more specific areas. Let's just select the Smart Brush tool for the moment. And the thing that you need to do first of all is to go up and select the type of change or preset uh, that you want to apply to your image. There's a range of different options that come with Photoshop Elements. In fact, there's over 65 that come pre-installed in Photoshop Elements. You can see here that we can select from uh, several groupings of presets or click the Show All option in order to get all of the uh, options that we have available. I'm going to go through and select the black and white one and just pick something like the blue filter or something like that. So cold tone is what I'll pick here. So this is the type of change that I'm going to be making to this image. Now the great thing about this new feature is that it both allows you to paint on the change and make the change in the one motion. So you're like selecting the parts of the picture that you wish to change and making the change in the one, one motion. So here I've just painted over the background area. You can see that automatically it has been converted to black and white and tinted a little bit uh, blue. Notice that in my layers palette we have a new adjustment layer applied in here with a mask. This is the secret of the new adjustment or smart brush in that it provides non-destructive adjustment by using masks as a way of making the adjustment. So you'll see as I'm painting over the image the mask is changing and it's automatically selecting the areas that I wish to actually change to grayscale. Now you notice that the stem of the mushroom has been changed as well. If we don't want that to be part of the change, we can hold down the Alt key just like we would if we were changing a selection and paint in the extra areas that we want changed. Let me just zoom in a little bit here and have a look at this part of the picture down here. Notice my brush size is now too big, my brush tip, so I'll just use the right square brackets to make it smaller again. And then click on the areas that I want to include in the uh, or take out of the convert to black and white. Notice part of the stem or part of the color of the stem has gone over into the area that should be just black and white. So I can just select that area as well and automatically it will be added. You notice that now part of the the mushroom itself has been added. We can just hold down Alt again and click again to make sure that that's taken away. So you notice that the change has now been made and we have a new adjustment layer option here, adjustment layer entry here in the layers palette. If I double click on this little icon here, you'll be able to adjust the control that's used for making the changes to the image. So here a gradient map has been used. If we select a different gradient map, say that just the black and white one, you'll notice that we get a different effect coming through as well. Now you might not always be able to access the controls or the adjustments that are being used with the Smart Brush tool because some of those might have been borrowed from Photoshop. But there are a range that you will be able to access and tweak or customize to suit the way that you want your image to look. So try the new Smart Brush tool.